Alright, here is a Fasco World's Fair from, I'm not sure the year, it'll be in the title. Let's give you a good look at it. So originally, this specific fan came with a extremely gaudy six socket Minka air fixture. This also came with a long down one, that's why I didn't cut the wires in case I had to use that again. I'll show you the top of the motor, you probably can't see much, but there it is. One of the first um, six blade fans of the 80s, if not the first. Changed it out with a Fasco schoolhouse fitter and this lovely floral shade. This little pendant here is not original. That came off my Turbo Zephyr that's now in the museum. It has the lovely very low system with two pull chain settings and then a variable low and a set high speed. It's a great system. Unfortunately, because this flywheel sucks, the fan is pretty off balance. Let's try and get this back to an acceptable place. It's the worst part about recording variable speed fans is I have to use a tripod and a tripod sucks. So, let's see how this looks with the light off. Yeah, probably better with the light on. Anyway, we are doing okay on battery. Let's make sure this is... Yep, all right. So there is the slowest speed. The very low is very, very sensitive, so turning the knob just like less than a frickin' millimeter is going to change it. So very low um, is Fasco's answer to slumber quiet, although this fan is not silent. It is a little bit hummy. Thankfully, very low has a bit better of a survival rate than slumber quiet. Slumber quiet's survival rate was abysmal. Look, see, I just barely turned that knob, and it's it's going a hell of a lot faster.
very low might as well be its own system and not have a designated high speed on the pull chain because you will notice this thing gets very very close to high speed when it's at full kilt or full tilt on the knob Like, we're not even halfway on the knob, and this thing is just cranking out air. So the FASCO World's Fair was a was FASCO's commemoration of the 1982 World's Fair in Knoxville, and they released this fan. Um, unfortunately, FASCO's flywheel designs were very, very subpar. The six-blade flywheels and the five-blade flywheels were very prone to disintegration. These fans, because of that, are very, very rare. Most people, when they experienced a flywheel fa failure, they threw the fan out and bought a new one. So, these are very rare as a result. Honestly, I think every single five blade model is rare just like this. I mean the state fair is uncommon but you still see them. The vanity fair is rare as hell. The state fair is uncommon. The decorator is extremely rare because those are the uh, the weird colors fan. The yeah, state fair came in a handful of weird colors too but um, those were of a different label. Five blade Charlestons I don't think had an issue. I think those used the metal flywheels that Fasco loved so much using with Charlestons. Four blade flywheels were also metal so uh, the four blade fans survived for however long you had them. A certain collector hoards these, so not a lot of people have them. This one I paid a pretty penny for. Um, a bit ashamed, but you gotta do what you gotta do.
That was pretty close to the last speed we were on, so let's go a little higher. So this right here is about the speed that I keep it on. And I'm sure you've noticed the blades are off kilter, like one end of the flywheel is just warped. There's not much I can do to fix it other than to replace it. Luckily it hasn't uh, shown signs of deterioration physically that I can see, so that's a plus. But yeah, if I were to try to fix it, like try and physically bend it, I'd probably break it. So that's a no-no. I do really love older systems like this. Now this particular one may not be meant to last, but it's just something about them. Not sure what. So this is full speed on the variable. Not much of a difference. And that was about an eighth of a turn, what I just did. How are we doing on time? 14 minutes, not bad. Or 15 minutes. So now I'm going to pull the pull chain two times and we're going to go to high. On some fans, the uh, high speed on the variable might as well be a high speed. So, or what did I just say? On some fans, the high speed on the variable is high, but so it was some somewhat close. I guess I haven't run this in high in a long time, that's why I thought it was close, but I guess it's not. This is just cranking.
it's a couple inches, well, it's about six inches away from that zephyr. Anyway, that is my Fasco World's Fair in Antique Brass. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching.